It is our first day in Poland here and we are so excited to explore. We already had quite the magical morning because it started snowing when we woke up and it's the first time we've seen snow in like over a year. So we ran outside in our flip flops and it was amazing. We are starting our day in what we think is like the business section because that's where our hotel is, but we are making our way down to the Old Town area. I think the only like kind of cool thing in this business area is this Warsaw Spire here. It came up as an attraction on our phone, so there it is. And now let's walk to the Old Town, but I think we're gonna catch a train there. You can just see the tiniest little bit of snow everywhere. It's already pretty much melted, but it was coming down pretty heavy this morning. A quick 10 minute walk later and we are by the tram station, so we gotta figure out how to buy a ticket and get on. So I used this app. I don't even know if it was the official app to buy the tickets, but it was a little less than one US dollar per person for a 20 minute trip. And so we thought that was a pretty good deal. Now we're here at Old Town. It is so crazy what a difference a few minutes on that tram makes. Look at these beautiful buildings around us. It's so crazy. It was just like all modern glass buildings. And now it's just these beautiful, colorful old buildings. And it makes me so happy to be here. These buildings are so beautiful. I just, I already love Poland so much and we've only been here like less than 24 hours. And we spotted our first Christmas tree. We definitely, well, I definitely think Poland would be a good place to come any time of the year, but Jacob and I are definitely like Europe winter people because there's no better place in the world to be than Europe at Christmas time. And I think Poland might be one of the best places to be. I'm so happy. This is so funny. You can see people inside of the tree decorating it. Oh my goodness, it just started snowing so much. Just out of nowhere, the snow just started blasting us. Oh my gosh, I am so, this is, ah, I have no words. Like, I was just hoping it would snow so badly. And it did this morning, yeah. and now it's just like, it's so great because we thought it was over for the day. Yeah, the forecast said no more snow, but now it's snowing. There's a Christmas tree. We're both really cold. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I don't even care that my hands are freezing. Well, now that it's snowing, it's time to uh, break out the hot hands. This is our best friend whenever we travel somewhere cold. Oh, they're already so warm. Also, I know I should have brought gloves. I just didn't think it was going to be snowing honestly the forecast didn't say that i was just thinking about everything that we've filmed so far and i was like i think i've said i'm happy at least five times so far i just couldn't control it i just love these buildings i love the snow i don't know it's just it feels like a really really fun and special place and i can't wait to explore more we were over by the Christmas tree and noticed that we were standing right near this like giant column and so we wanted to figure out what it was and of course we had to walk further away from it to see what was up on top. This is Sigismund's column. It was built in like the 17th century. It's a monument for one of the uh, old kings in Poland. The snow is coming down even harder now. Oh wow. This is like the most beautiful sight I think I've ever seen. <laughs> We are starting to make our way towards the Old Town Square and I couldn't help but notice that on the other side of the river, you actually can't see it anymore, but that was like the soccer stadium, I guess the football stadium. I think it's the national stadium of Poland. This is pretty much my dream come true, honestly. Like I was so sad because the forecast was like only snow for like an hour in the morning and now it's just snowing so hard. This is the best. I love Poland. I'm convinced. It's the best. We just turned down this little alley, but I want to say that square was so clean. Like, I don't think I saw one piece of trash. I just really appreciate when big cities are clean. Now we're on this little alley and there's lots of like little food stands. I don't think they're like restaurants, but I think you like grab it and eat it on the streets. But this whole vibe is just really, really cozy. I think like so far my word for Poland is cozy. This building is so beautiful. It's so intricate with the designs on it. This whole area is just so pretty. We're just trying to take in all of the old town, walking on these streets here and there. And we came across this cathedral. I don't know if this is completely accurate, but Google Maps told me that this has roots dating back to the 1300s. So I don't know if like those entire structure has been here that long. If so, that's pretty nuts. And it looks like we have stumbled upon our first Christmas market. We're definitely not gonna go in yet because that's gonna be a whole other video, but it looks pretty cool.
now that we're more out in the open, the snow is coming down even harder. And it's not too busy out here. Like there's really not a lot of people. I don't know if it has something to do with the time of year or if it's a Saturday or whatnot, but we've seen videos of Warsaw and like it's really busy sometimes, but maybe that's just because a lot of those videos are in the summer. We are currently in the Old Town Square. There's lots of restaurants, souvenir shops, and it is where the Christmas market is. We're gonna walk around and see everything. The buildings look very, very new. I do believe that they were rebuilt sometime in the 1900s because unfortunately of the war. So it's a really interesting place to be because you know it has such kind of a rough history with the world wars and everything, but looking around it's beautiful and they've done such an incredible job of rebuilding it and making it absolutely gorgeous. Wow, the snow. This is crazy. You stand under here, you don't get snow on you. going now hiding in a little alley <laughs> <laughs> The thing that I am probably most excited for today is to try some Polish food. We're gonna probably try to get a pierogi and some sausage, maybe a potato pancake. I just feel like Polish food is gonna be my jam. Plus, when we get food, we'll eat inside and then get out of the snow a little bit, even though we are thoroughly enjoying it. Whoa, this is such <laughs> a cool viewpoint though. What the heck? What, look at this. Whoa, this is like so cool to like look over the town a little bit. There's lots of snow on the ground here actually. Wow, this is beautiful. And just in case you're new around here, I think you should listen to the writing in the snow and subscribe. <laughs> we're not exactly sure where these stairs lead, but we're gonna try it out. Hopefully they're not icy or anything and I don't fall down. <laughs> it is snowing so much like this was not in the forecast at all you guys or else if i would have known that it was snowing i definitely would have worn gloves <laughs> <laughs> it looked so funny. <laughs> I found a little nook to hide oh. in. I honestly have no idea what this is for. Oh. <laughs> it's so warm in here though. I think it's like wow. for hiding out from the snow. That's I think that's probably why they made this. Probably yeah. the only reason. The, when they were building Warsaw, they knew that Jacob and I wouldn't wear gloves. So they built this specifically for us. This walk is definitely beautiful. Definitely getting a lot of snow in my eyes <laughs> and I do want to get inside soon so maybe we'll go find a restaurant now. Honestly like I know that we're saying it's cold a lot but I am so happy right now. This is my dream. Like when it was snowing at 5 a.m. we were like it's snowing. This is probably all we're gonna see while we're in Warsaw but it's still cool and then we got this. I think God was really listening to me when I said I wanted it to snow more. I don't exactly know what this area, we're walking to the Barbishan, I think that's how you say it. I don't know what this area is, but it is so beautiful. These buildings have like such intricate designs on them. And then this way it's just all brick and it kind of looks like a little fort. This area in the city is so beautiful. We are walking into, I think it's like the gate to the old city. I think we oh. might be in the old city and that might be Wait, yeah. the I new. Yeah, I think you're right. The Barbishan. Barbishan? Even the pigeons are hiding out from the snow. Jenny doesn't like pigeons, that's why I'm filming them. And now we're in the new city, we think. Wow, it looks new. <laughs> I don't know if it does really. It looks pretty. We found a place to go inside where it was warm. We we're one of the only people here at this restaurant just because we started our day really early. And so we're gonna get some pierogi, gonna get some dumplings, and we also ordered a beer. Let's give it a try. Mm. Guys, I'm not a beer expert. It kind of tastes like every other beer that I've tried, but I like it. It's maybe got like a little bit more malt to it, if I'm saying that right. It's good, I like it, and it's cold, which I know that sounds weird since it's freezing outside, but 
You never want like a warm beer. Our food just arrived. We got the dumplings with cheese and potatoes and the pierogi with mushrooms and cabbage. I don't really know which one is which. They honestly look the exact same, but I'm so excited for this. Not only because I think it's gonna taste really good, but because I'm freezing and these are like steaming hot. Okay, I think this one is the mushroom one. I think it also has cabbage in it. It honestly reminds me a lot of like cabbage rolls in Romania, but with thicker like dough. It's really good. It's got a little zing to it. I love cabbage. I'm pretty sure the sauce is just like sour cream. <laughs> I think this one, potato and cheese, this one might be a, the winner. Let's see. Mm. It honestly tastes very comparable to just like mashed potatoes wrapped in like dough. It's very delicious. I think I actually might like the cabbage ones because they have a little zing to it better, but they're both so good. We got some really loud music behind us, but I've been trying both of the dumpling and the pierogi. The outer casing is the exact same, and so they kind of taste very similar. I do think I like the cabbage and mushroom one more than the cheese and potato, but both are pretty solid. When we get the bill for the two plates, the beer and the water, it should be around like 20 US dollars. So not cheap, but definitely not expensive. Looks like they got some mold wine out here too. That was so delicious. Definitely a good first Polish meal. I was gonna say in there, but it was kind of loud. The cream is like a lot more sour than like regular sour cream, but it was really <laughs> good and it added a little spice to it. Not spice, but you know. And now we are back outside. It has stopped snowing, which I'm kind of sad about, but it's probably better for our camera so it doesn't get all wet. And now we're gonna keep walking around and seeing what else we can find. Now that we were done exploring the old town and eating, we thought it would be a good idea to come over here. This is the monument, I guess, where uh, the Warsaw Ghetto Wall was. Uh, during World War II, uh, the Germans put a lot of uh, Jews from Warsaw and other towns, like over 400,000 people, into like just a couple square miles of these really rough living conditions and like, like it says 100,000 Jews died just from starvation here and this is where they were kept before they were transported to uh, be killed. So I thought it'd be really good to just spend some time here and think uh, just because uh, my family, like my grandpa used to tell me stories of how his uh, his family, like his dad and his, his granddad would, they were living around like Poland and Lithuania, that kind of area um, at the time. And so they would tell stories of uh, how they had to flee this area before things got bad. So they were, they left in like the 1930s before everything was like so bad. And it's crazy like looking at this area, there's like a little like line over there where it used to be and it doesn't, I mean, it just looks like a totally normal spot. Unless there was this monument and that line, I would have not thought. Like they've just built it up so much and oh, I just can't even imagine like being in that area just makes me honestly sick to my stomach. Um, but on a lighter note, they have built it up and it looks amazing and beautiful. This raised portion of the monument shows where the ghetto wall was and that's where we are right now. We were spending most of our time today in this old town area and this is where we got off on the tram. And then the river coming down is where we'll probably get to. Uh, later on in the day and so it's just uh, it's very interesting to see uh, where everyone lived at the time. We walked through Old Town again and it was just as pretty as when we saw it the first time. The buildings are so colorful and lively and now we are at this river and honestly it's really cold down here I think because we're by the water and there's like a crosswind or something but it is way colder down here than it is up there. It was far too noisy on the bridge to talk about the plaque that I saw on the bridge but there's a story behind it and if you want to correct me in the comments go for it because I don't know the exact full story Story. but basically there were some war heroes that was driving on the bridge and they were getting chased by the enemy and when they realized that they were uh, both sides of the bridge were covered and they couldn't escape they jumped off of the bridge into the water and tried to swim away once they were in the water they tried to escape that way but they were killed when they were trying to find their way to safety so that's why the bridge is so cool and that's why I wanted to walk across it 
And now we decided we're gonna go check out this park over here and just see what's around here. I heard that there is a giant statue of a giraffe, if we can find it. When Jacob told me that we were going to see a giraffe, I was honestly really hoping that he meant a real one and there was like a little zoo or something. Uh, I think the statue will be pretty cool, but <laughs> I'm sad it's not real. <laughs> there is a zoo over here. It's just that- We probably can't like see any of the animals though. I'm assuming we're gonna have to like pay an entrance fee and like, once we pay it, we want to explore the zoo for a while, but we'll just settle for the statue right now. It'd be kind of funny to see like a real elephant covered in snow. <laughs> this park is like, it looks pretty big. Honestly, there's tons of trees. There's lots of snow on the ground. I bet this place would also be very, very beautiful in like the summer or fall when the trees are covered in leaves. Right now, a lot of the trees look a little bit sad, but there's also a lot that have some snow on it. So that makes things a lot more fun always, in my opinion. I know a lot of people probably don't like the snow, but I love it. We are walking up on the giraffe right now. We found it. Ah, the grand reveal, the giraffe. <laughs> it's actually pretty big. It's huge. That's bigger than a real giraffe, right? I feel like that's way taller than a normal giraffe, right? Yeah, it has to be. That thing's like, what, like 50 feet? I haven't seen any giraffes in the wild before. Maybe, maybe soon. Maybe when we go to Africa. We've been walking for a while and I really wanted to sit on this bench, but uh, all the snow melted, so it's just wet. We just came out of, I guess, the maybe the entrance to the zoo. That's where the giraffe was. And now we have this beautiful church behind us. I'm guessing it is a cathedral. It looks really pretty. Now we're gonna hop on the tram. I just have to say Warsaw has been a really great city to explore so far. I know that there's been a lot of tough history here, especially in the last uh, like 100 years, but I really do appreciate how much it has been built back up to just be an amazing city that we get to explore. 